So now we have with us Priya, that Congress leader. Priya, you've seen what's happened in Mumbai earlier, but now in Kerala, much more devastation. Your thoughts at the moment? Uh, it's really very, very sad to see this. We've uh, not only seen this in uh, Mumbai, but also in Bihar. And uh, in fact, uh, we worked there for nearly three months when we had medical camps in Bihar, when the Kosi floods happened and has re have really seen with in close quarters the devastation it causes to the lives of the people. And uh, disasters such as these, uh, you know, have phases. You know, it starts with rescue operations, which is complete survival. And all you can think of is, take, you know, surviving this uh, uh, disaster and saving your lives. But the second phase becomes food, water, clothing, shelter. And, uh, and the third phase, when, you know, water recedes and everything gets a little normalized, it's about moving out of camps and rebuilding your lives. So this is a long haul and uh, I think uh, it's so important for the entire country to come together to support the people of Kerala because they need it right now. And, uh, and I think the more support they get, I think the rebuilding of lives will get much easier and faster. Right, Priya, and you know, we, we, right now what we are doing is trying to uh, collect money, of course. We had uh, somebody donating 5 crores, another anonymous donor with uh, 25 lakhs. The total is about 5.7 crores, but raising money is part of it. Creating awareness is also a very major part of it because, Priya, there, there should be actually a fourth phase also that should kick in, whether it is Mumbai, whether it is Canada, whether it's anywhere else. And that fourth phase is what can we do to make sure that over a longer period of time, the, the cycle of floods and droughts comes to an end. Yes. Yeah. I think, Vikram, it's so clear that we, as a nation, have to give priority to environment. And uh, it's fine. I think development is very, very great and it's very important, but not over the lives of the people. And uh, we have to keep that in mind. And we are not only looking at Kerala, we are looking at so many other states, you know, with illegal constructions happening or illegal mining happening, which are causing so much of devastation, cutting down of the forests and uh, for development in the name of development. So I don't think people want that kind of development. You know, they, you know, we have to kind of uh, create an awareness about that, not only with the common man, and I, but I think also with the government.